Hey, what's up, man? Players, man, talk 24 7 here. Playing a ranked game. Haven't really been playing ranked games recently. Been playing Call of Duty and Mutt Wagers. Started out maybe 42 and 0, 45 and 0. My record now is 50 and 1. And these are the type of things that would happen in these ranked games. You just don't know what's going to happen. I mean, didn't really expect that. You don't really expect that at all, but I'll gladly take it. So we get the ball back from a safety on the first play of the game. And now we had a ball back. So I'm like, all right, I'm going in for the kill shot. Waste no time throwing an interception. So I'm like, well, that's not really how we want to start the game off. But I'm sure this guy feels the same way. Auto motion play. I try to jump the snap, no dice. So I'm like, all right, I need to calm down, chill out. You know, actually make this dude earn some yards on offense. And I guess that's earning yards right there. It should have been a clear interception. He keep running pistol full house, bunch of crossing routes. Not really concerned about it in the slightest. But he's getting yards, so. I mean, you cannot be concerned with things, but I'm giving up yards, but I'm not really concerned with this dude. As I said, I'm not gonna let him constantly roll out on my defense and I'm gonna sit on the crossing route. So that's really what I'm doing, sitting on the crossing routes, containing him on the edge. And he has to punt the ball, 4th and 27. Now in the future, I plan on posting some breakdowns. Um, I got this message a while back. This dude asked me when I'm going to start doing film rooms again. So I actually do plan on start doing more breakdowns this year. I'm going to start breaking down games. Uh, planning on posting, you know, a breakdown on offense during one game and then the next game break down that same game on defense something like that because a lot of little adjustments are big time and I just feel like I can go over it and help some people out now I glossed over that horrible 4 and 24 I don't even know what I was doing was it a good call I mean I threw a slant on 4 and 24 so obviously not the best but this guy's offense is not looking any better than mine and that's why the score is 2 zip at the end of the first quarter because he's calling draw plays on 4v3. I don't even see draw plays called, much less 4v3. So I'm like, okay, I should be able to win this game. I'll be due ready to the Izzo first play. So obviously that gives me a big confidence boost. The, you know, that just, you're not supposed to lose games like that. So I'm like, all right, man, I just need to start making some plays. Every time I try to roll out, I'm getting sacked. So I'm like, Okay, 3rd and 18, let me just chuck the ball deep. Another dropped interception, 4th and 18, I don't even care, I'm chucking the ball. Another dropped interception, so it's still 2 nothing. He's still running pistol full house, running a bunch of crossing routes. I was sitting on that, he dropped the ball though, 3rd down and 6. He actually had someone open on the left side of the field, missed him, pressure guy in his face, and we hold him to a field goal. So I'm down one point. The score is 3-2. Kind of a weird Madden score. I mean, weird football score. I get the edge on the kickoff return, take it almost to midfield, and I gotta score some points now. Chuck the ball deep to Larry Fitzgerald. I actually sold him. So that tells you, I mean, Larry Fitzgerald doesn't really play for me anymore. I sold him not because of lack of talent, just did he he just wasn't making plays he's not fast enough yeah he has like 90 shrimp something crazy like that but i just feel like taking someone faster will help my offense out better now the score is 9-3 as i said i'm not concerned with this guy's offense at all he's really giving me nothing that i need to guard just chucking the ball deep and we dropped the interception right there. So third down and 10, I'm watching for the crossing routes. I'm watching the tight end and he just throws the interception straight to Anthony Barr. I had him in a quarterback spot. He just snatched the ball, ran to the end zone. Now after a big time play like that, huge momentum swing. It really, if he doesn't score right here, the game's over. Not sure how he's going to score any pause the game. And he exits the game. So thanks for watching the game. Not really going to post that many more ranked games. I'm going to start posting a lot more mud wager games. Showcase my adjustments. Do a lot of breakdowns. And here's my mud squad. Here's my mud squad. Current mud squad. The mud squad I have today. 
Artavius Bryant, John Brown, Joe Horns playing my number two. Not really sure how I like that, but it is what it is. I appreciate everybody that donated cards to me. My team wouldn't even be close to being this good without you guys. So I appreciate it. I'm trying to save up, get a Otto Beckham Jr., Michael Strahan, something like that. But thanks for watching the game. Hope you enjoyed the game. As I said, I'm going to try to post more videos. Keep posting. And that's what I'm going to try to do. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game.